How to crochet the crisscross puff stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color medium gray. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, crisscross puff stitch, which is a special abbreviation we will explain in this tutorial. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of two. Now before we get into the main part of this pattern, we're going to do a foundation row. So starting in the second chain from our hook, we're going to work one single crochet. And then we'll do one single crochet into each chain stitch all the way across until the end of the row. And then we'll turn our work. Row one, after we've turned our work, we're going to chain three. Now, in the first single crochet, we are going to draw a loop up. So we're gonna insert our hook here and draw a loop. And we're gonna draw this loop up to about the height of our chain three, okay? Now we'll skip the next single crochet here and we'll draw another loop through the next single crochet. Hold on, I went through the back loop here on accident. We want to come right through the bottom here, through both. There we go. Skip this one, come into this one. We're going to draw another big loop up here. Okay, like so. We want those to be about the same height. Now, we're going to cross the loop just picked up and we are going to draw up another loop into the first single crochet again. Okay, so we're going to come back over here and draw another loop up. Okay, so now we see they're crossed. Then we'll draw up a loop in the same stitch as the first <clears throat> or the second loop here. So we're coming back up here. And we're going to come back once again and draw through. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six loops. So we're going to come back through the second loop once more. And that will give us seven loops. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through all seven loops at once and do a chain stitch to secure. Okay, so that is our crossed puff, crisscross puff stitch. Okay, so we're going to start our repeat now by doing a drawing a loop through the last single crochet that we just worked. So that's this one right here. So we're going to draw one through here. Okay. We'll skip the next single crochet and pick up a loop into the next stitch. So skip this one, come into this one, draw up. Okay. And then we're going to come back through this first stitch, draw a loop through. Then through the second loop. Okay, and then back once more through the first loop and then through the second loop. Okay, and that should give us our seven loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over and we're going to draw through and do our chain stitch to secure. Okay. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until the last stitch in our row. Now after we've done our last crisscross puff here, we're going to do a double crochet into this same last stitch. Okay, then we're going to turn our work. Row two. We're going to begin by chaining three. Then we're going to draw a loop up be in the first chain one space, which is the, the space between our crisscross puff 
and the double crochet here at the end of the row. Then we're going to draw another loop into the next chain one space, which is between the first and second crisscross puff stitches. So we've got two loops now we've picked up. We're going to cross back into the first space and draw another loop, then back into the second space and draw a loop, first space and second space, and that will give us our seven loops on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to yarn over and draw through all seven loops and chain one to secure. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by drawing a loop up through the last chain space worked. Then we'll go into the next chain one space and draw a loop up. Come back into the first space and draw through. Go back into the second space and draw through. First space and draw through and second space and draw through. Then we're going to yarn over and chain through or draw through all loops on the hook, chain one to secure. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. And when we finished our last crisscross puff stitch here, again we're going to do a double crochet to finish off the row by going into the top of our turn chain here. and then we will turn our work. So we're gonna repeat row two until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you crochet the crisscross puffs stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.